Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 23rd of March. 75 cities across India under lockdown to curb coronavirus spread. Residents angry over rising inflation in Pakistan's Karachi. And Afghan government and Taliban discuss prisoner issue. And now for all the details. Indian capital New Delhi wore a deserted look on Monday as the city was put under lockdown until March 31 to keep citizens indoors to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Government has decided to lock down more than 75 districts across the country where coronavirus cases have been reported. Indian capital New Delhi wore a deserted look on Monday as the city was put under lockdown until March 31st to keep citizens indoors to prevent the spread of coronavirus. The order to shut down the capital came hours after hundreds of millions of Indians heeded Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's appeal for people to self-isolate for a day which was dubbed as Janta or Voluntary Curfew. The centre and state governments have decided to completely lock down more than 75 districts across the country where coronavirus cases have been reported. Delhi has shut all markets and sealed its borders. All interstate buses, passenger trains and metro services have been suspended across the country till March 31st. On Monday, Prime Minister Modi appealed people to take lockdown measures seriously. Sharing his thoughts on Twitter, Modi said that people should save themselves and their family and follow lockdown instructions seriously. Later, the Prime Minister briefed top media journalists via video conferencing on government steps being taken to combat novel coronavirus pandemic. The total number of confirmed novel coronavirus cases stands at 415, according to Indian Council of Medical Research. Indian stocks plunged over 9% on Monday as the rapidly spreading coronavirus pandemic sent major states, including capital New Delhi, into a lockdown amid increasing fears that outbreak could bring world economies to a grinding halt. India has so far registered over 400 positive cases of coronavirus with seven deaths. Indian stocks plunged over 9% on Monday as the rapidly spreading coronavirus pandemic sent major states, including the capital New Delhi, into a lockdown, amid increasing fears that outbreak could bring world economies to a grinding halt. The rupee hit a fresh record low of 76.05 against the dollar. Over the weekend in India, the virus drove several companies to shut operations, and the government sent states into lockdowns, bringing normal life to a grinding halt. India has so far registered over 400 positive cases of coronavirus with seven deaths. After this coronavirus, the V global economics uh, economy has been affected. Everywhere there is a um, atmosphere of panic and investors are equally affected. A lot of valuations have been eroded and we witnessed that our market which, which peaked around 42,000 plus uh, Sensec, now it's trading around 26,000 plus something around that. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, the outgoing week was nightmarish for the stock market, which saw the Karachi Stock Exchange or KSE 100 index sink by 5,393 points, representing the heaviest point-wise fall in the history. Pakistani market also became a casualty to the fast-spreading coronavirus, with confirmed cases rising by the day. Pakistan on Monday said the total number of coronavirus cases in the country stood at 799. However, some reports showed that the number of coronavirus cases has surpassed 800. 
In news from Pakistan, rising inflation and recent increase in tax on petroleum products have angered residents of Pakistan's Karachi city. They blamed that economic challenges were due to government's incompetent policies and corrupt administration. Residents in Pakistan's port city of Karachi lambasted Prime Minister Imran Khan's government over rising inflation and said that the rulers have put all pressure on the common man in order to conceal their corruption. The residents blamed that sharp rise in prices of daily commodities including food items, gas and petroleum products has severely hit their domestic budgets. They can go relief they can go कि पेट्रोल जो है कम से कम हो ताकि जो है ना वो आगे जो है उनके लिए रिलीफ हो ताकि हर आदमी अफोर्ड कर सके बाद लोग कहते हैं किराए इतने बढ़ गए रिक्शे की बात करूं या दूसरी ट्रांसपोर्ट की बात करूं पेट्रोल की वजह से किराए इतने बढ़ गए आम आदमी एक टैक्सी पे रिक्शे पे सफर नहीं कर सकता इन्फ्लेशन जंप टू 14.6% इन जनवरी 2020 इट्स हाईएस्ट इन मोर देन 9 इयर्स फ्रॉम 12.6% इन दिसंबर 2019 क्योंकि पाकिस्तान के अंदर जो हुक्मरान है वो सारे चोर हैं क्योंकि हमारे वजीर आजम कहते थे जब हुक्मरान चोर और करप्ट होंगे तो महंगाई होती है तो अब ये हमारे जो हुक्मरान है वो सारे चोर और करप्ट हैं एस पाकिस्तान कंटिन्यूज टू विटनेस इकोनॉमिक चैलेंजेस ओइंग टू इट्स इनकॉम्पिटेंट पॉलिसीज प्राइम मिनिस्टर खान कॉल फॉर ए कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटजी एंड प्लानिंग ऑन प्राइसिंग ऑफ पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स कीपिंग इन व्यू द कंट्रीज नीड्स एंड ग्रोथ मूविंग ऑन Afghanistan's public health minister Firozuddin Firoz on Sunday confirmed 10 new COVID-19 cases including the first two cases in national capital of Kabul. Afghan Ministry of Public Health on Sunday confirmed the first death from COVID-19 as the total cases soared to at least 40 across the war-torn country. Afghanistan's public health minister Firozuddin Firoz confirmed 10 new COVID-19 cases including the first two cases in capital Kabul. Firoz said the two of the latest cases were found in Kabul and the patients are two foreign diplomats from two separate diplomatic missions. Fana ki dar kishwar ma dar 24 saat guzashta az tedad 97 sampal ki test kardim 10 sampal musbat doshtim. Meanwhile, as the number of coronavirus cases continues to rise, the government has urged the concerned departments to declare a lockdown in western Herat province bordering Iran where most of the coronavirus cases are reported. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Afghan capital on Monday to try to salvage a historic deal between Washington and the Taliban struck in February but marred by a political feud. Pompeo is in Afghanistan to discuss the selection of a negotiating team which could represent the Afghan government in planned talks with the Taliban. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Monday arrived in Afghan capital Kabul. to take forward the February 29 peace deal signed with the Taliban. Pompeo during his trip will meet Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and his political rival Abdullah Abdullah who contest the result of his September presidential vote raising the prospect of parallel governments that has paralyzed selection of negotiating teams for further peace talks. Since the signing of the deal the peace process has stalled amid the political turmoil in Afghanistan. President Ghani and Abdullah have both declared themselves Afghanistan's president in dueling inauguration ceremonies earlier this month. Meanwhile, US Special Envoy Zalmi Khalilzad informed that an Afghan government team and the Taliban in presence of US and Qatari officials held a video conference session in which the prisoner release and other steps in the peace process were discussed. Khalilzad said that another meeting will also take place between the representatives in regard of ending the years long war in Afghanistan. Sri Lanka on Monday confirmed nine new cases of COVID-19 which took the total number to 86 across the island nation. While there are no deaths reported in the country from the infection, 222 people including five foreign nationals are already in hospitals under observation. Sri Lanka on Monday confirmed nine new cases of COVID-19 which took the total number to 86 across the island nation. While there are no deaths reported in the country from the infection, 222 people including five foreign nationals are already in hospitals under observation. Meanwhile, 
Panic among people continues in the country as they fear the spread of the infection amid lack of arrangements. Tensions erupted recently in Lanka's Anuradhapura prison after two prisoners died and several were injured after fighting broke out over rumors of coronavirus and government's decision of tightening restrictions on movements. The prisoners started protesting against the decision by the authorities not to allow visitors as a move to contain the spread and in the commotion, guards opened fire to prevent inmates from fleeing, local media report said. Sri Lanka has been observing curfew from last week to contain the spread of coronavirus. Under the curfew, only essential businesses are running across the country. Nepal on Monday confirmed second imported case of coronavirus in a 19-year-old Nepali national with a travel history to France. Authorities in the country have started the process of identifying and tracking those who came along with the infected from France. Nepal on Monday confirmed second imported case of COVID-19 in a 19-year-old Nepali national with a travel history to France. According to officials, the process of identifying and tracking those who came along with the 19-year-old female from France is currently underway. Meanwhile, Nepal government from Monday midnight locked down its Gadachoki border, crossing in western Kanchanpur for a week, to deal with the ongoing coronavirus spread. According to officials, the most popular border opening between Nepal and India in the last 15 days hosted about 63,000 Nepali workers who went to neighbouring Indian districts in search of employment. Nepal, which was the first nation in South Asia to confirm the entry of COVID-19 that emerged in China, has so far reported two cases of the deadly virus. The culture of Tripura province in India's northeast is a plethora of festivals that is celebrated with great vigour and enthusiasm. A tribal cultural festival was recently held to promote tribal art, culture and tradition of the Tripuris. India's northeastern Tripura province is the homeland of different tribes. All the tribes have rich cultural heritage which are being handed down from generation to generation. Recently, a four-day-long tribal cultural festival was held in capital Agartala to promote tribal art and culture, tradition and preservation of the tribal heritage. Organized by the Tribal Research and Cultural Institute of the Government of Tripura, the main attraction of the festival included ethnic food stalls that had delicious traditional food items cooked with local herbs. Visitors from all walks of life were seen enjoying the traditional home cooked delicacies. Pele me bolta oki ye bhoti zaruri hai kyuki it represents our own state's culture. Or, or if we uh, get more festivals like this, the to tourists who come from uh, Kolkata, Delhi, and from Bangladesh, they will get to see ya pe kitna sara foods hai. Various cultural activities. Fashion shows were also held as part of the festival, providing a platform to the tribal communities to showcase their talent. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. 75 cities across India are under lockdown to curb coronavirus spread. Residents angry over rising inflation in Pakistan's Karachi. And Afghan government and Taliban discuss prisoner issue. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.